So I used to have this job where this old bitch would sit around smoking cigarettes all day, playing this game Bejeweled 3 while everybody else was busting their hump. So now it's my turn to play Bejeweled 3 for Xbox 360. So I had just hooked up my Xbox 360. I have the Xbox 360, I have the Xbox 360, the Xbox 360S, and then the Xbox 360E. I'm using the Xbox 360E right now. E like the Enterprise E. And then S like Xbox 360S, like the so Sovereign class. Wait a second, no, the Enterprise E was Sovereign class. What was the Enterprise D? Galaxy class. And the original Enterprise was Constellation, Constitution class, right? How come the Enterprise D should be the Enterprise G because it was Galaxy class? And then the Enterprise E should be Excelsior class because it's E. That, I'm going to get a comment on YouTube and it's going to say, Class is different than registry number, Mike. I know. Starship classes are different are different than the registry numbers. Leave me alone. Uh, what are we doing? Oh, I'm, so I want to play some Xbox 360 games, basically. My original Xbox, I still have it, but my original Xbox is a little... It runs loud, like the fan in it is really loud. So I got the Xbox 360E um, and it's, it runs a lot quieter. So that's what we're going to do. Let's play some Bejewel 3, and then we're going to play other Xbox 360 games. It's going to be great. And what I want you guys to, to do is let me know what Xbox 360 games you like. Um, but one, but no, actually don't sc scratch that. <laughs> let me know Xbox 360 games that you think I would like, actually, knowing the type of games that I like to play. That's what I would actually like you to do. And I feel like a lot of stuff probably doesn't even work anymore, right? Because the uh, Xbox Live doesn't exist anymore. Alright, so here we go. This is Bejeweled for Xbox. This is Bejeweled 3 for Xbox 360. So that begs the question, does, is there Bejeweled 2 and regular Bejeweled for Xbox 360? Is there Bejeweled 4 for Xbox 360? What if there is Bejeweled 4 on Xbox 360? How come people aren't talking about that? Everybody's talking about UFO 50. But they're not talking about Bejewel 3 on Xbox 360. That That's very upsetting to me. I want to talk to you guys about Xbox 360 games. And don't give, don't give me, you know, uh, Halo and Bioshock and all that business. I want, like, the deep cuts. Like, I was playing, um, uh, in fact, maybe I'll play it next. I was playing uh, Trials HD, which is a, just a game where you... Uh, ride a bicycle and try to make it over jumps and stuff. I want to know about the obscure, the obscure gems. But I also tend to like games that are like, things that are like rounds. You play rounds and then you turn it off so that the game isn't like 8 million hours long. I don't, I don't think I like games that are 8 million hours long. I want things that are like short rounds that are challenging. So let me know those games. Okay. Yeah, so everybody be working all day and then she just be smoking, chain smoking cigarettes all day long. That's probably what she would do when she go home too, except add in some wine. Sounds pretty chill, actually, now that I think about it. I don't really blame her. Job sucked anyway. Just, just sitting there. Fuck this. Fuck this job. Just playing Bejeweled. That's the life, man. That's what I'm striving towards in my life. As you can see, 
This is what I've been striving towards. I just want to be like an 80 year old woman playing Bejeweled, really, when it comes down to it. You ever, ooh, look at that one. Ooh. You, I made a hypercube by matching five gems in a row. That's exciting. Look at this. Oh, level complete. I wanted to make, I wanted to do, oh, because I filled up the bar on the bottom. That's right, that's what you do. Oh, and I, oh, so when you go to the next level, you continue to have the hypercube. Well, how about that? Boom! If only if I can form some more hypercubes. I wonder, what if there were six of them? What would that be called? Are there any bejeweled experts out there on YouTube? If so, leave a comment, let me know. It's people that take Super Smash Brothers really seriously, right? Or people that take uh, Street Fighter really seriously, like fighting games. What about bejeweled? Are there any anybody that are like get, anybody getting in fist fights over bejeweled? But specifically bejeweled three on PlayStation or, or on uh, PlayStation on Xbox three hundred and sixty. The Xbox three hundred and sixty uh, <laughs> bejeweled three fist fights. That's what I want to say. Everybody's posting things on social media. All this crap. That's what I want to see. Next time I log into social media, I want to see serious fist fights. And the reason is because one person beat the other person's score in Bejeweled 3 on Xbox 360. Now that, that's entertainment right there. But it doesn't exist because people don't care. I feel like I'm the only one that still cares about Bejeweled 3 on the Xbox 360. Where would it be back in the day? You go into what, like Best Buy, buy 360 games? In that era. And Xbox 360 is, is interesting too because it's that era when you're right in between. You still have AV, but you could also have component and you can also have um, HDMI. It was like right right in the middle before things, they, then they started to phase out uh, AV, composite. Actually, this one that I'm using here, the Xbox 360e, actually only uses uh, HDMI, I think. But the original Xbox 360 still had, like, AV and component. Star Gem. Look at that. Look at that. Look at it. I am the master of Bejeweled. Alright, I'm going to move on to another Xbox 360 game. You get the idea. Um... Once I start chain smoking cigarettes, I'll come back to Bejeweled. The end of my streaming career when I turn 80, 80 and beyond, is going to be nothing but Bejeweled 3 and smoking, smoking all day. All right, so let's move on. All right, again, stuff like Fable, Bioshock, Fallout, Skyrim, Mass Effect. I don't want to hear about these story-driven, lengthy games that go on and on. I want to know about games where there's rounds where you have to, you have to try again and again to get something right. Skill-based games with rounds and stages is what I'm usually interested in. So I found this game, uh, which was for Xbox 360, Trials HD. Now, people, like I said, they're always talking about Mass Effect and Bioshock and all this stuff. Who's talking about Trials HD? I want to know about all those lesser-talked-about fun games. So I just started playing this. You go around on a dirt bike... And gradually the game gets harder and harder as you go, so it will get challenging. Um, but essentially, you like pick a level, and then you see how far you can make it. And each, even each individual stage has difficulties. Like there's turtle, reptile, and these are locked. I haven't like unlocked all these other difficulties. So let's try this, right? Excite Pike 64.
I'm not a, like a dirt bike fan in real life, but I tend to like games with dirt bikes. I like Excite Bike 64. I like this game. I really like this game because of the sh it just it's just short rounds and you just try to do things over and over until you get it right. Total just like skill based no nonsense video game. And then like I can do that again and try to do better. You know, I could just spend an hour playing that one stage and it's like, okay, I could try to get a better time or I could try to fall less or whatever the other requirements are. All right, so that's that. So can I go medium? Let's start. Oh, this is locked. I got to do more easy level stuff. Let's see. And, you know, right now I'm talking about Xbox 360, but in general, just games that are like that, let me know. But for sure, if you know stuff on 360, because that's what I'm doing at the moment. Oh, see? And then I fell, so I gotta try it again. Gotta land, like, right... Alright, there you go. Oh, whoa. Wait, I'm, I guess I'm dead there? Let me try this again, hold on. Oh, wait, did I pick a different stage? Oops. Whoa. So you got you got to fall at just the right angle so you don't trip. And have just the right Oh. Just the right angle and just the right speed. And turn Oh, see too much. So you have to turn the bike. But not too much. Okay, that was good. So there you go. And I made it. Next one. Easy wheeling. Do you guys even have Xbox 360s anymore? I know a lot of the stuff that's on 360 is like available on Steam or whatnot. Like there was this game Mark of the Ninja. Which I was like, oh, that's a 360 game, but it's like you could play that on Steam and it's been like remastered since, but not everything. God, I guess that's another question. What are games that are only still on Xbox 360 worth playing? Haven't been remastered for Steam <laughs> or whatever else, Switch. Games that are in, t in 2024 are still only on Xbox. Damn. Oh, I got medium difficulty on that, so. Can I go back? Oh, Scorpion is the next one. Let's try it. The next difficulty. See, these are the kind of games I like. Oh. Damn it. It is a little bit forgiving because it's not like you have to redo the entire stage. It's just that you have to redo the section because there are checkpoints. I didn't do well enough, though, to get even better. Let's see if I can beat Scorpion and unlock the next one.
Probably would have to do it quick enough. Don't fall. How about that? Hey, silver medal. Next gold medal, okay. Oh, it didn't unlock the next difficulty, but just the, the metal. So the next one does, you can almost read it, what it says after that. I can't quite read it, something after that. See, this is the kind of game I could just become totally obsessed with, try to get gold and everything. That's something I like in, I guess, like Star Fox, or Star Fox 64, right? It's like you can just keep redoing the levels and try to get gold. Yeah, there you go, that's another way to, uh, I'm doing terrible right now. Now I wanna leave the... Yeah, let's go to this next one. Games where you have to get medals, I tend to like, I guess is another good way to put it. Damn it. Terrible. Whoa. Look at those pyrotechnics. Oh, oh, am I supposed to flip there? <laughs> oh, I think maybe you are. Wow. Oh, crash. Damn. Looks like it hurts. All right, I made it, technically. Anyway, you get that, the idea. So, games like that. Here is Beautiful Katamari. I have played Katamari Demacy before, which I think this game is the sequel. There's also We Love Katamari. Um, I forget if this is the second or third game or whatever, but this is one of them. Uh, you basically do rounds where you have a ball and you gotta get things to stick to your balls to get your balls to grow bigger. And eventually your balls grow so big, they're like the size of the moon. All right, here we go. This is a candy store, I believe. Are you still talking to me? Shut up. And I mostly play these games for the music. I, of course, have all the Katamari soundtracks on vinyl, because who doesn't? All right, so say like I'm collecting junk, candy and gum, and my ball just got a little bigger. Were there's originals? They need to re retheme this game with all licensed candy. That would have been a Hershey bar. Reese's Pieces. Oh, this will be a good thing. Let's grab all these. Can I get the Power Rangers? See, I'm not big enough to get the Power Rangers yet. You gotta collect all the small objects first. And then when your ball grows bigger, then you can collect even bigger stuff. You, you see a little effect when it happens. And these are timed, like the, the quicker you do this, the better. But I don't really care. I, I'm just screwing around. 
It can take an hour for me. I, I just don't care about the time limit, really. Oh, now I can pick these guys up. There we go. Oh, look at that effect, that circle effect, so you can see underneath. Can I pick these up? I can pick these milk things up now. Not quite. Let's go up this. Come on, you can make it. Maybe I can't. How come they don't make these games anymore? What about one of these on PS5 with, like, amazing new modern graphics? Oh, so I didn't even make it. Oh, he's angry. This is scary. Well, that's where the challenge comes in, I guess. He calls you a loser because you didn't do good enough. I like that. Like, you didn't do good enough, you loser. Do better, loser. Oh, there you go. See if I can have a good start. Give me all these. It's like a casino or something now. I guess it's still the candy shop. Rings. Turn the camera. I feel like the camera could be a little better. I remember playing the other game. Uh, I felt like the camera maybe was a little better than the other one. I think I'm doing better this time though. Get out of the way, stupid bus. Alright, what if we go up here? It'll let me. In the camera. Yeah, I feel like the camera could work a little better. I'm not psyched about that. I, actually, I think I heard one of these came out on Switch. Maybe I should try the Switch version. Oh, I did it this time. Let's plump it up. So I made it big enough. He's happy with he's happy how big it is. But if I want, I can make it really big. How big should I make it, guys? Let me know in the com comments. Holy horn beam!
That box you rolled over is a present. Alrighty, all done. Off to Princeton. Let's go to Princeton. So this is like the level hub. So that was that round. Wow, you made this pile of junk. And then he turns it into a moon. Or a satellite or whatever. He shows you how big it is. Looks like a birthday present. And mine is 27 centimeters. There you go. Exciting. Anyway, that's the idea of beautiful Katamari. Uh, let's move on. All right, so this is Burnout Revenge for Xbox 360. You guys have seen me play Burnout 3 Takedown before. Same kind of th thing. You smash into cars to earn money, blow, blow the other cars up and earn lots of cash. Earn money bags. All right, let's see if I can win this race. God. Whoa. No. No. That's one way to drive. Time extended in two takedowns. All right. Can I take anybody down? I took him down. I took them down. I took I took a couple down. me oh god this is so terrifying take somebody down i had six seconds to take somebody else down come on did i get him oh great the last second <laughs> oh my god Great, I did great. Hey, I got a gold medal. So another game that's rounds and trying to get gold medals, you know Burnout. It's another good one where you get gold medals, play rounds, short rounds, I like this stuff. All right, so the next game up I have here is Mirror's Edge for the Xbox 360. Uh, I have seen this game a million times. It's like one of these parkour jumping games, believe it or not. Uh, I didn't own this game, and I never got around to playing this. I've always wanted to try this game, so let's try it out. Mirror's Edge. I always thought this was a game I probably would like. I just never uh, I just found it at the game store the other day. And let's try it. I don't really know too much how to play or anything. And I think there's a second game, right? Mirror's Edge Catalyst or something. I don't really know where I'm 
I'm supposed to be down here. Maybe I'm supposed to climb over that. So I, I've literally never played this before, so bear with me here. Maybe I can jump to that. Oh wait, what if I get on this? Ah. Can I go across the pole? Yeah. Balance, balance beam. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Okay. Uh, run along the wall, maybe. God. Woo. Please make it. Oh, I grab on that. Okay. Can I grab on this? By the way, there's like, so there's like punching, and I think you can like, how do I, okay. It's like a slide kick thing. There's a way to do a jump kick. I like that. It's like, okay, LBRT. That's the jump kick. And that's punch. So I guess there's enemies to fight. Can you open doors? Whoa. I suppose I can't jump over that. Do I go down there? Dude, I don't know. Uh, let's look over the edge here. Well, that'll be death. Let's see, maybe you can open the door. Oh, can I punch the door? Aha! I wonder if there'd be anybody to fight. All right, so there's some way I can get up here and then like flip around. Ha. Ah. There we go, I flipped around. Can I grab that as an item? Oh wait, bags are hidden in stash points for collection or discarded by runners in trouble. I'm in trouble because I don't know how to apply. Oh god. Oh, I'm gonna die. I, I went the wrong way. Oh. Try this again. Enemies you need to get through are marked red with runner vision. Fight them to run past them, okay? So I have to fight this guy. Can I have his gun? Oh, you know what? I know there is a way to take this guy's gun. I got it. You ready, now nah, I've gone ha. Ah. 
Is there a way to put the gun away, though? Shit. See, now I'm gonna try. I don't know how to put the gun away. Oh, God. I assume. Get to Celeste. There are more booze on the way. Go on, safe. Keep the effort in the Okay. Hey, throw me the bag. Throw her the bag. Who's that? Oh, that's the friend from the tutorial. Okay. Uh. Dude, I don't know. <laughs> There's one way to do it. Oh my god. Can you believe this is Xbox 360? I feel like these graphics are great for a 360. Whoa. They're pissed. Ah, yeah, you turn around. What are you gonna do? Get your ass back to base. Yeah, I don't know about the gun, like, is there a way to, like, put the gun away? I feel like this is a game I might like to play through. Anyway, that's the idea with uh, Mirror's Edge. Alright, so another game that's on this Trials Limbo Explosion Man is Explosion Man. That's the third game down there in the corner, and I'm going to try this out. This is the... Xbox 360 triple pack. I like that Trials game. Um, Limbo, I, I've played before. That's like the big highlight game on here. Is like I remember that from years and years ago. But um, I've never played Splosion Man, so let's play Splosion Man. I don't like. I just blow that guy up completely. You just blow everything up? I mean, this is kind of fun. <laughs> so he can blow himself up three times. Oh, there's like a rabbit or something in there. <laughs> you just literally blow everything up. This is great. I like this. You just, you just keep blowing things up and... The graphics are kind of funny, and I never hear anybody talk about this game. This is the kind of stuff that I'm looking for. Just, you pop the game on, you can instantly play it. It's fun. And it, it, this seems like, you know, it's not going to be like an 85 hour game probably. Let's see, how do I get up here? Oh. Yeah, these like lesser talked about 360 games. Right now I'm doing 360. <laughs> Someday I will do regular Xbox. So there's kegs that make you explode. Question. You can explode three times. I can explode a lot more than that. Recharge on walls or on the ground. Right? Haven't I already been doing that? I don't think I would have made it this far had I not already been doing that.
Okay, so this is like a keg, right? So I can blow up on that. Hmm, hang on. Send it back out. One, two. Can I blow up one more? There you go, three. Let me just hear it. That's just to get the thing out, right? Oh, wait, what? There you go. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Look, and level complete. You complete the level? Good. Leaderboards. What happens if I click that? Because that's down. You must sign into Xbox Live. Poor Xbox Live. When did that go away? This is why you should never make these like online leaderboard things. It should all be... Well, it's like... I like online leaderboards, though. They should never take it down, is what they should do. Microsoft still exists, so why could, can't this leaderboard still exist? Right? Where's my Splosion Man leaderboard? Save and return to last... to level select. Save and continue. Save and continue. Loading level 1-2. This is my kind of game, for sure. Look at that. That should be my tattoo. I'm gonna get a tattoo Explosion Man right there on my arm. What do you think? And people are gonna be like, what is your tattoo? And we're like, what do you mean, what is my tattoo? Explosion Man. Duh. Duh. Oh, ow. Oh, he eliminated Splosion Man. Wait, uh-oh. Huh. Let's see if there's anything around. I gotta take him out. You know what? So I gotta do this. This is what I gotta do. I put that up. Whoa! Hi, buddy. <laughs> now you can't use your little laser beam. I blew it up, though. Explode off walls to reach higher places. No kidding. You wouldn't make it this far if you didn't already know that. All right. Oh, wait, what happened? There we go. Hey, buddy. Hey, like that. Get, get some explosion soda. <laughs> Video games are fun. <laughs> this game is reminding me that. Sometimes they're fun. Sometimes they're not fun. Did you know that? Sometimes video games are not fun. You ever play the mutant virus? No, that game's great. That's the best game ever. This is the best game ever. I like that this guy kind of is just, he's a silly character, but he's just sort of like, Ehh. he doesn't have like catchphrases. At least not yet. I like that he's just kind of like, Ugh, and that's it. He's not like, Taco Tuesday. It's Taco Tuesday, everybody. And then you have to listen to the same phrase over and over 500 times. And that's the level. I would probably play through this entire game. Explosion Man. <laughs> All 
All right, this is Raiden Fighters Aces, part of the Raiden series. Uh, I remember not liking Raiden Five, I think it was, but some of their, I think Raiden, like three, and four maybe I like. Uh, but this is Raiden Fighters Aces, and I've heard that it's good, so let's try it out. What ship? Oh, it's like a randomizer. Must be the first one. Mission one. Yeah, one of the classic things from the Raiden series is this purple proton beam, like Ghostbusters, right? Just trying to think of the right word to call it. Did you guys see that new Ghostbusters movie? Frozen Empire. Apparently they're making another one yet. Apparently the movie, I don't know, I heard it only broke even. But they're still making another one. It's weird, we didn't have Ghostbuster movies for such a long time, and now they just can't stop making them. Maybe the movie broke even, but then if you add in all the merchandise, maybe it's worth it for them. Who knows? How come they can't, can't stop making franchises? Make a new franchise. So are there bombs? Go to next area. Oh, that was the boss, huh? Ugh. Not doing well. I'm gonna get fully maxed out. So was Raiden Fighters Aces in the arcade? I don't know. Now I want to know. I don't really like the control scheme I have for this right now. It's like an awkward button. I wonder if they would let me change the controls. Oh, that you, oh, wow, you totally can. I would want the bomb to be, can it just be like A? And then the shot be X, there you go. Oh, rapid shot. Cause I could have that be X. Bomb, yeah, bomb A. Regular shot, B. Maybe we'll try that. That was a pretty good... Like, they let you set the controls however the hell you want. Alright, so let's try it. Yeah, it worked. That's way better. Because I had it on the Y button and it was awkward to hit. Go to next area. A lot of times I don't like what they do with the sides in these games to fill up the space. But I don't mind that, like, Raiden Fighters Aces logo. It's not, like, distracting. It looks alright.
I'll just play out my credits. Oh, and is that it? All right. Should I continue? I don't want to continue. The only thing... Oh, I was going to play my credits. I, no, Xbox Home. I didn't want to go to Xbox Home. I want to go to that. So I get two credits. Actually, what I really wanted to do was start over. I want to start from the beginning. Let's try a different ship, too. How about this yellow one? Now that my controls are set a little bit better. I like the graphics. There's so many little things. So, so like these little things I'm grabbing, these blue things with the yellow in the middle, is that like just points? That's what I have to assume. These like, I guess they're badges. Yeah, they're like 100 points each, I think. the boss running away, right? So M L There's no uh, boss meter. Oh, no. Is it just M and L? M, 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 F, M. So maybe this ship doesn't have the classic Raiden proton beam. They all have different weapons. So if you don't like the Raiden proton beam, you can have this ship, I guess. I'm just gonna keep getting the M. I don't know what the S is either. Is that an additional ship? Is that a side ship? Because I do have these side sh side ships. Shit. And I just lost them. See, getting those M's. Oh, that was like maybe missile. M might be missile. Let's see S. Yeah, S added a ship. Damn it. Okay, L is latest laser, M is missile, S is ship. These are point badges, 300 points. That one said. Four hundred points. Five hundred points. Not like I'm going for points. The laser is pretty good because it's heat seeking. 
where I think the missile kind of just goes ahead. Four thousand points. Give me that bomb. Maybe they're important though, because they might give you extra lives. So, you know, the points. So maybe they are important. I also, I, I didn't check if there's difficulties, but there probably is. Oof. Lucky I made that. So getting S at this point, is that just extra points? Oh, are, I wonder if these bullets are hitting my side ships and saving me. Are side ships an extra hit? Look at all these bombs. Yeah, I like this. This is good. this is a good game. I always saw this like highly rated. I can see why it's a good one. Damn it! All right, well we get the idea. I would play more of that. It's good. All right, now I'm gonna try out Splatterhouse for Xbox 360. You guys have seen me stream. God, I guess Splatterhouse 2 I did. Aaron did uh, a 1cc run of the TurboGrafx-16 Splatterhouse. Um, one day I should do that third Splatterhouse game. I, I have some interest in that. But uh, yeah, let's try out this 361. I've heard it's good. I've been meaning to play this since forever. I haven't played it. I'm inhabiting you. We're a team now. You help me get what I want. Unskippable cutscenes. What the fuck is going on? Uh, language. I guess Nintendo didn't make this. Okay. Oh god, is this gonna be like copyrighted music? Guess I'm gonna find out when I upload this to YouTube. This right here is going to be the decision maker on wh whether this video is members only or not. Because if this is copyrighted music, then my sh then my video will be demonetized. So when I upload this to YouTube, if this is uh, if this gets me a content ID strike. I'm gonna make this a members only video. I don't like the type of music. Maybe that's not the whole game though. Maybe that's just. Too much for you, Rico. It would, would bother me with like the Tony Hawk's games. It would be like the Ace of Spades, the Ace of Spades. And it's like this. There's like five songs that like, just keep repeating. Did I lose my Wolverine claws and all that business? They just wanted to show you what you're gonna have eventually. But they take it all away from you. Just like every Spider-Man comic I ever read in my life. Spider-Man lost his ability, his Spidey sense, or whatever. And then he has to do it without it. Because Peter Parker's the real hero, or whatever. Waste. 
the plot of every Spider-Man comic. This is just going to be combo moves i got to remember. X, Y, Y. Maybe I don't like this game. So far, I'm like not like, I don't like. <sighs> I don't like remembering combo moves. You guys probably don't see me play many games where there's like combo like stuff to remember. I, I just, I don't, I don't want to remember combo moves or anything. I feel like this is going to be one of these games that's going to have a hundred different combo types to remember on the controller and it's just like that's just not my thing I like splatter ass too I'm sad right now because I was actually really looking forward to this one I, I had had this game for a really long time and uh, and that's like L T and B, all right. And then I lost it, and then I just recently repurchased it because I had lost it. And now that I'm actually finally playing it, I'm like, oh, it's this kind of a game. Because this is very different gameplay. Like when you're playing Splatterhouse on Turbo Graphics 16, you're not memorizing combos. Like, you know. Jennifer! I'll go a little further. Maybe it'll redeem itself. And I'm, and I'm also surprised that the frame rate just seems not great. I like how gory it is. It's like, how long can you keep the kills going for? 133, 159, it's like that kind of thing. It's like, that's something I don't like in sh some shooters, when you gotta do like chaining, and you gotta like, you gotta keep it going. Because it's always, like, I hate the feeling of, like, when, all right, you know, you get uh, times 2, times 8, times 16, times 32, whatever, and it keeps going. And then you lose it, and then you're back to zero, and it's just such a bad feeling. <laughs> I don't know. I don't like having to keep it going. Get a load of this thing, huh? Okay. Oh, that's the thing Tom Cruise fucks. <laughs> Supposedly. I saw these videos about how he likes to buy fish and stick his dick in the fish's mouth. Supposedly, according to videos that I've seen on the internet. Who knows what's true or not, but... I don't know, why not? Right? <laughs> That's what most of my chat does, I think. I'm I'm gonna be really honest with you guys right now. I'm really bored by this game, and I'm dis I'm disappointed because I was like really looking forward to this. I'm gonna keep moving. I I find I find this to be kind of boring. It's cool looking, like I like the idea of it, but like I don't know. I'm not feeling it. All right, this is Monster Madness for. Uh, Xbox 360. I bought it because it said Monster Madness, and I worked on a series, a horror movie review series for eight years. Cinemassacre's Monster Madness from Godzilla Thon for the next eight years or something. So that was almost a decade of my life doing that. Um, so I wanted to try. I've always wanted to try this out. I've heard. I knew that there was a game called it, so I've never seen it before. So let's see what it's like. Never had it. The camera keeps like spinning. 
which is a little weird. So just, um, kind of like zombies ate my neighbors, I guess, sort of. So I have an axe right now, and I'm fighting zombies, right? As you can see. I feel like when I hit a zombie with the axe, it doesn't feel good. You know, I talk about that a lot. You know, when you shoot something in a game or you hit something in a game, whether it feels good or not, like, does it really feel like you're doing it? And unfortunately, this does not have that good feeling. Maybe it's just this weapon, though. Maybe I'll get a different weapon. See if I can grab something else, maybe. That was about the same. How about this, then? How about that? Uh, can I grab something else? I'm grabbing boxes and stuff. Oh, there's the bust that I want to make. If I could make anything for a product for myself, I would want to, I would want a bust. If anybody knows how I can make a real bust of my head, let me know. Send me an email. Mike Matei Live. gonna have a rain dance. To paint the chief. An ancient burial ground. An ancient burial ground. His voice is so like it makes me not want to play as this character. He sounds like a fucking pussy. Look at how he's half coming through the wall. You know what? The, the voices are annoying me, so can you turn his voice off? He can. I, he needs to shut up, because I can't stand his... I'm very sensitive to voice acting in, in games. I almost always don't like it. grenades. I'll try that. Do I have any more of them? Yeah, like I feel like I'm hitting nothing. I mean, if that's how it's gonna be, it's just like I feel like I'm hitting air. It's, it's just like so not fun to play. That's unfortunate. All right, let's move on. It's not good. <laughs> that's my review of that. It's not good. There was another Ninja game besides Ninja Gaiden and Ninja Gaiden 2 and all that on Xbox 360. It was Ninja Blade, which I've never played before. Let's try it out. Are we gonna have a quick time events here? Okay. I'm fighting the Incredible Hulk. Oh, here he comes. Bruce Banner. Zombie Bruce Banner. Uh, here we come. Two kills. Was somebody just trying to get in on that Ninja Gaiden craze and they made this? 
It seems like sort of a similar thing here. I wonder if this came out like two years after that. This is pretty cool though. So far. Chicken pox. They told me again, again how to do that dash because I forgot. Damn it. I'm trying to do that dash. There we go. And then they're going to make me fight those monsters again before he dies, right? Oh no, he's dead. Good. When a icon appears, Toad Dome can be used. Cool. I love Toad Dome. It's my favorite. You got. 3,000 healing crystals. You got 1,000 blood crystals. Get equipped with Metal Blade. Get back. Get back. Get back from where you are. Stand in your way. I won't, don't worry. I'm cool, don't you see my mask? Pursue giant pox. Oh, I thought I killed him, but I didn't. I thought he dead, but he not dead. Oh, running on the walls. Yeah, I'm so cool, I run on walls. Some barrels and boxes have hidden things. Like Zelda. Break the pots. Am I right? Just like Zelda, guys. Obtain health piece. Find two more to upgrade your health. If I break enough boxes. Oh, I missed, so I'm dead. Yeah, let me do it again. There you go. Thought I did it exactly the same as last time. 
Oh, it's Qui-Gon, my buddy. He's so much more badass than me. He took out the Pox monster. No, he didn't. This thing's running. This thing's a pussy. We must go after him. Follow me, quickly. Can I do that? Can I be cool like him? There. Oh, I just had to hit up, I guess. I was trying to do like a circle around. I wasn't doing right. Oh, am I supposed to here? Same thing. Up this wall, faster. This is a nice tutorial, isn't it? You guys like watching me do tutorials today? RT and L, I thought, right? Oh yeah, I did. The beast is getting away. Hurry! Oh, wall jumping. Something like this. Oh. Let me do it again so I can practice that again. Or wait, am I going through this? I'm running up the wall like this. All right, I'll, I'll get used to that. Finishing blow. In all my years, I, I didn't play all that many games with quick time events. It's not, the quick time events are not my favorite thing. Is that the crawl? It's literally crawl. You ever see crawl? Don't be subjugated by the elements. Command them. Command the elements. Yes, sir. I com did I command the elements? You didn't command the elements? Oh, wait, wait, wait. All right, let's take this out. These camera angles sometimes are not great, huh? I think I like kind of like this game. It's like not as good as Ninja Gaiden, but it's like all right so far. Has it done any saving? I'm worried if I turn it off, I go go through all this again. So how would I get up here? Oh, you know how the that business. There you go. Just B to do this. This is all just getting controls down. Break the boxes. Maybe I find a health thing. so many. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Will they come down the hallway? Thank <laughs> you. 
thought I was gonna have to put out all those fires. They wanted me to just fight the enemies. Whoa. Whoa. What? What is it? Voice acting by Joey Lawrence. And they just started over because I screwed it up, right? Whoa. What? There you go. Come on, I got that. Apparently I didn't. And then it, it's like, they just... See, this is stupid because they just let you redo it like one second later anyway. I'm kind of, I'm kind of glad though because I wouldn't want to have it go really far back for these stupid quick time events. I don't like quick time events very much. Hit the button at the right time. Like, so it's like... Are you not dead? Wait, what? Oh, I didn't even see the letter. Oh, come on. And he killed me. Too many quick time events. That's a level. You defeated level one. Yeah, Does the level like ever end and save? Checkpoint. All right, I'm gonna assume it's it's saved. I've had enough. This is okay. Exit to start screen. Like maybe I play this. Um, too many quick time events, but like it's kind of fun. Uh, it's 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 okay. All right, let's try out Apache Air Assault for Xbox 360. Probably gonna be a little bit like Desert Strike, but better quote unquote better graphics. The cutscenes are skippable. Now let's take off and see what happens. Or, or you, I guess you can compare it to the last level of Pilot Wings. I guess. 
Alright, defend the base. Defend base. I already used up a lot of my missiles. Some stupid. Got him. All right. Okay. So now I gotta go to the other side. Guess I could do a few more of my missiles. Another view you can do if I can figure out how to do it. I wrote down what to do here. Click and left stick, hit V. Oh yeah, and then we can do this kind of thing. And I can, there's a way to zoom in. I can zoom in on these guys. I think I got them. Mission objective completed. Defend base map from second wave of attack. All right, well, I'm doing this first of all. These pussies all run away. I think they're all like running away. Oh God, there's all these guys over here. I wish I had more. Oh, I get more missiles in two minutes. Okay. I can get behind these guys and spin around. All right, let's see. Good a job I'm doing defending base, but I'm trying. Come on. I think they're not blowing up because they're all turning around because they're pussies and they're leaving. Pursue the enemy. They're running away. Wimps. You wimps. Did we get my missiles back yet? Just, and now I got them back. I'm gonna go get the, all these dudes. I'm trying to get used to all these controls. There's a lot here. Uh, okay, so. I 
like they're all just running. Come on. I got you. There you go. Now I got him. Alright, so who else? All these dudes. Come on. Mission objective complete. Now what do they want? They want me to go land somewhere or something? Proceed. Proceed towards F4. Proceed towards F4. Whatever that is, let's say. Does that just mean I'm going to land now? Or what? fly a little faster. Oh god. Does that mean there's a missile coming after me? Dude, I don't even know. Oh, look at all these guys. Um, um. RPG launch. Um, 20 seconds to reload that. How do I get out of this view? I don't know how to get out of this view. Oh, did I just die? I guess I was crashing. Three attempts. Okay, so you get a couple of cr uh, attempts. Boy. I didn't even know what I was doing. Alright, for one thing, I got all these missiles. How do I get out of this view? mission completed? What happened to fighting all those other guys? Okay, so mission's complete, but what am I supposed to do? Oh, it, you just have to wait for it to end. Alright. I mean, I like that they only give you so many chances, so if I... I died once, but I could have died three times. I think I like this game. This is pretty fun. I can see myself playing this for a number of hours, probably. All right. Well, we had a couple bad games uh, recently, that Monster Madness one and whatever, the Splatterhouse one I didn't like, but uh, this uh, Apache Air Assault seems good, so maybe I'd play this one. The whole point of this is I'm looking for Xbox 360 games that are still exclusive to Xbox 360 um, you know, that they're, they didn't become available later on Steam or something like that. And um, stuff that, you know, it, a reason to play the Xbox 360. What's good and what games do I like that I could play in the future? Because, you know, I played so much like Genesis and NES and it, 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 stuff like that. It's just like I, sometimes I try to branch out into other uh, systems and I've been wanting to branch out more into xbox 360 for a long time and i just i never get around to it although i mean i have done some stuff i i did i did ninja gaiden and ninja gaiden 2 and stuff like that years ago and i've done uh some of dante's inferno which is amazing one of the best games and i did red dead redemption so it's not like i haven't done xbox 360 stuff but there's a lot of games on the system and i want you guys to 
help me out. What you know? Let me know what I need to be playing, especially those obscure gems. You know, let me know. <laughs>